Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to make a video in response to a question from one of my subscribers. And um, if I jump into um, my YouTube channel, you can see we have this comment from Samantha Matthews who says, Hi, in your videos you have put rectangles and arrows bringing attention to a particular area. Can you tell me how to add these as I'm struggling to find a way to do so? So yes, I've already replied to Samantha, and so I thought I'd actually create a video so you can see how this um, is done. So let's jump back into um, Elements again. And um, we, we, we draw arrows or shapes using the Shape tool, and it's this tool here next to the, um, to the right of the eyedropper. Or you can press the letter U on the keyboard, and that will bring up the Shape tool in the in, in the tool options panel at the, at the bottom here and you can then use the drop down menu to select the shape or the arrow that you uh, that, that you want to use and it's quite simple once you've selected um, a particular shape that you want to use you simply draw on on your um, document and this is a document i've prepared for the for the web it's 19 20 by 1080 with a white background and as, as you can see it's quite simple to um, to choose from the drop down and, and, and drag out a, um, a shape. You can then go to the um, move tool and simply um, move it where you want it or you can scale it up or down without any distortion and you can rotate it you know if you want to point to a specific object or um, perhaps a starting point on a map or something. You've got plenty of options by just using the bounding box, the corner handles to do so. And when you're happy, just click the check mark to um, put it in place. Um, if you want to hide the, the bounding box, temporarily click on, click on the hand tool and that gives you the, um, the outline. You can see there's a little bit of kind of um, fuzziness or, or, or pixelation. And um, what you can do is, um, when you've actually finished and um, you want to um, save your document, first of all, save it as a PSD, and that preserves all the layers, including the shape layer. And then um, you can go back then at any time and uh, change the shapes or objects at your, um, as you desire. But um, what I normally do is I go to the layer menu and click layer flatten image and you can see that sharpens up the edges straight away just by flattening and then I save you know either as a, as a, as a JPEG or a PNG or um, for the web. If I undo that and jump back I want to show you you can also access the shapes from the graphics panel if you go to the bottom right here and click on this plus icon it will bring up the um, shapes um, on the right hand side. The beauty of using the graphics panel is that you can apply a shape just with one click. So if I click on this apple shape here, it puts it in the center of the document and I can drag and reposition and resize in the usual manner and then click the check mark when done. You can add multiple shapes this way simply by um, dragging and um, clicking. And um, there you have it, using the um, the graphics panel. One of the things I like to do with shapes is to use them to put a photo within a shape. So I'll just give you an example. I'm going to choose this um, star shape here, top left, and uh, just enlarge it. Um, I'm just eyeballing this to, um, as far as possible, keep it in the center and make it large enough. And I think that will do. You can use guys if you want to be more accurate and then I'm going to go to the file menu and choose place and I can select the photo from this folder a soccer photo which I think will work well with this shape click the green check mark then I need to go back to the layers panel and if I hold down the alt key and hover between the two layers we get this little arrow icon and if we click once it just clips that to the shape layer and the, um, the shape becomes a mask and the photo shows through it. So we just need to reposition this as best as possible. I, I think something like this is fine. It will just show the, um, the player's faces and, um, 
and the ball. And so I'm going to just click the green check mark to um, commit that, click the hand tool, and we can see it. Um, you don't have to keep the white background, we could actually add a solid colour behind it. So I'm going to just um, click on the colour chips in the bottom left of the tool panel and choose a colour from the photo itself. So this red, I'm going to pick up that and click OK. And then I'm going to go to the panel, um, the, the menu layer and choose new fill layer, solid colour. Uh, click OK and it will put that colour in automatically. Click OK. All I need to do is go back to the layers. I need to drag this colour between the background and the shape. So just dragging and dropping. You can see a line appears between the shape and the background. Release the mouse and that puts the colour behind the, um, the, the shape. But that's another thing you can do with shapes. Um, I'll show you one more example. Um, um, undo that and go back to the original document and again let's go to the graphics um, panel and I've got one which is like a mountain which will work with the other photo that I have in the same folder if I can find it it's just this is the one I want the one for the mountain and it's used the same color as I had previously selected but that doesn't matter it will still work and I'm just dragging this out to maximize the size. I'm going to move this right over to the left hand side because I'm going to add some text on the right and make it into kind of a, a web page or, um, or a page for a photo book. So again committing by clicking the green check mark using file and place as previously and I'm going to choose this hiking photo, click place and that puts it in there. Again, click the green check mark to commit. Back to the layers panel. Hold down the Alt key and do the clipping. And there we have it. I just need to say, as before, resize and re reposition this. And something like that will, will work. Click the green check mark to commit. And that looks fine. And what I'm going to do with this one is add some text. And I'm going to select the text tool to create a text layer. And I'm going to drag out a box on the right. And I have some uh, text on the, on the clipboard, which I'm going to paste into this um, document. So I just need to press Control V to paste the text from the clipboard into the text box. and just removing the bounding box and uh, that makes quite a nice page with the photo and the text within the um, shape. Well I'll show you a few more examples just for some inspiration and um, you can then start experimenting yourself. So this is a wedding photo and I've used a graphic for the, um, for the background. Um, This is a sort of a garden photo or um, an old couple sitting in, in a garden. A funky one. This is Canyon Lands, the national park, um, which uses a stamp kind of um, shape. This is a photograph from Venice Carnival. And this is a family photo. Well, I hope you like these. I hope the examples have given you some inspiration to use in your own projects. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye for now.